Hello, it's Jason Payne for JDP Realty Group, a Cole Banker, Dan Hop Realtor. Well, today I'm at the beautiful community of Timberwood Park, located just off Blanco Road, right next to Camp Bullis. The reason I'm out here is because there's a gorgeous home that's on the market as of late August 2021, and it's a custom home built by Kitchen Custom Homes. It was built in 2006. It is a four bedroom, three bath, and just over 4,300 square foot and check out the views when we get inside here. Let's go check it out. This is a really neat home with a gorgeous pool in the back and some little small details that really kind of sets this home apart. If you're looking to be convenient to everything in the air, uh, the greater San Antonio and the Hill Country, this is a good location. It does go to some great schools, the uh, Piper Middle School and Piper High School. The Piper High School just opened up uh, this year, kind of across from Kinder Ranch. All right, this is a gorgeous home. I can't wait to show the inside of it. Just a beautiful entry. All right, this is a two-story home. Right off the bat, you do have a gorgeous formal dining room set up. Just love the work they've done on that ceiling there. Some steps in this house. So I'm going to be real careful not to misstep while I'm filming this because, yeah, that'll be hilarious. All right, great living space. But check out this, this height. That's neat. Like I said, let me go on in here and show you the rest of this. But this house is perfect for entertainment. Just wait till you see the pool and some of the details they've put into this house. I mean, this fireplace, the rock goes all the way up. Now, the asking price as of uh, late August 2021 is 1,494,95K. Sorry, but check out this kitchen. They have done a lot of work to this house, bringing it up to date because, yes, it was built in 2006. Ooh, got the hiccups. But this is some gorgeous granite they've put on here. Single basin sink. Love it. Viking microwave. It's hard to go wrong with Viking. That is a great brand. You do have your standard size pantry, but wait, there's more pantry than that, and I'll show you that in a second. This beautiful KitchenAid cooktop, but check this out. I've never seen this before. There's a heating shelf switch. So you can literally put your stuff up and you got heat lamps there. That is super neat. There's one of those little details that are in this house that are just super cool. Plenty of good sized kitchen because this house you can tell is built for entertaining and uh, that's where most entertaining typically happens. You are gonna have a powder room. Just off the kitchen and around the corner but i mentioned that pantry is like eh, it's kind of typical but this is a big house so there's another pantry in the laundry room so if you're heading to costco and need some more storage space there you go plus they've got your backup refrigerator there and plenty of storage space in the laundry room so that is super cool and of course you got to have your sink in the laundry room too so very neat. They did this laundry room upright. All right, uh, speaking of something else that's kind of neat, there is a different entrance coming in that you can make your direct beeline with the groceries to the kitchen. And this has its own single car garage on this side of the house as well. So, including a water softener, and uh, that's really neat. Ooh, those steps almost got me. All 
All right, let's go ahead and head upstairs. And then I'm gonna take you out back and show you the pool. And we'll finish up in the owner suite. All right, upstairs you do have this wonderful game room slash entertainment area. But I'll show you, you can't wait to show you the views. You do have your bar, because what respectable house would not have a bar in it? Love seeing the old T37, which has now been retired, and the T38. T37 was replaced by the T6 Texan, the single prop plane. And that happened, ooh, around year 2002, I believe. But check out the views of this house. Just wow. I mean, that's Camp Bullis back there. And that's where I ended up retiring at as a training instructor out of Camp Bullis. And that is going to stay untouched forever. So these houses you see down there, that's it. Other than that, you're going to have Camp Bullis, and that's going to be, that's what Texas looked like a hundred years ago, and a hundred years from now, it's still going to look like that. All right, we do have three more bedrooms in this upstairs area. I'll go ahead and show you that now. The view from the top. The uh, bathroom that can be shared with this bedroom or the other folks. We have regular tub, shower combo, and we're gonna all of a sudden be in one of the bedrooms. Nice size bedroom with its own walk-in closet. Very cool. People do still live in here, so I'm gonna do my best to respect their privacy. All right, this is the other bedroom. Another good size room. I used to have one of those uh, Amish oak desks myself. And the last bedroom on this wing. Also with a full bath. And this one has the shower in it. Let's see, does this pass through? Yes, it does. So these two bedrooms will share a bath. The other bedroom will have access to its own bathroom. All right, um, a little more stuff that I've read up about this house. This does have all spray foam insulation throughout the walls. These doors are actually solid wood doors, so great for helping keeping the soundproof down. And of course, the spray foam is great for making the house energy efficient. All right, now that we're down the stairs, um, another thing I know they just replaced uh, in 2000, in 20, they replaced one of the air conditioner units with one of those fancy dancy uh, infrared air conditioner systems to help really keep down the mold. Well, just to make sure there is no mold. Well, let's check out this backyard area. It's a beautiful view on this hillside. There is some topography going down but they have created a wonderful entertainment space out here. That's kind of one of the main reasons I wanted to show this house off. I have a client looking for a home in the Texas Hill Country, and a big priority of his is the outdoor entertainment space. I like these people because they got a big green egg, and I am a big fan of the big green egg. If you're thinking about upping your cooking skills, get that 
My wife to this day says that is the best thing I've ever purchased because she loves it when I grill. It has ruined me on taking, going out to steakhouses because I can do a better steak than they can. All right, you do have a, another fireplace on the outside and this one also goes all the way up. Very neat. I hear somebody getting a new roof back there. Oh no, that's a house. Yeah, they're getting a new roof put in. But just checking out this outdoor space, really neat. This pool, looking on the MLS, it just looks so cool at night. Matter of fact, let's head on down there and get a closer look at this pool. And a hot tub. That is beautiful. Like I said, lots of places for entertaining out here. Just super neat. As I like, yeah, it's always margarita time at this house. Beautiful. Love the fact they've got a little umbrella spot in the pool, different shelves. And when people, when you have a house that's on a good slope, that doesn't mean you can't put a pool in. You can do things like what they did where the most of the pool is kind of above ground. Uh oh, they got uh, little bar stools right there. Kind of neat. But look at this. That is a beautiful view from out here. You can definitely imagine sitting out here around this little fire and just enjoying being outside. Now, it is August in Texas. In the end of August, in about three weeks from now, it's gonna be real enjoyable to be outside at night. Right now, it's still a little warm. Another outside cooking area. So if you're hosting parties, you can have everybody down here and not have to keep going up all these steps. All right, there is an additional living space right over there. I can go up and check it out. But this, this is a neat little place. All right, let's see if I can step over these rocks and not die. Aha, made it. But yeah, this is just a beautiful pool with a really cool edge view looking off over the Texas Hill Country. Not Okay, correction, it wasn't an infrared on the air conditioner. That didn't make any sense. Ultraviolet, an ultraviolet part. Ooh, check out this little hidden gem. They have an outdoor shower. So getting ready for the pool, get a little rinsey rinse. Or if you're trying to clean off some garden tools, you can definitely do that too. So very neat. Not too many places have the outdoor pool. Look, they even got a little another place staged up. All right, let's head out inside of here and check out this additional living space. All right. Now, bottom half of this is going to be the garage, where they've turned it into more of a gym area, an additional garage space. I haven't kind of turned all these lights on yet, so. Bear with me as I go up and check out this other little apartment. Ooh, that is so neat. They have a little above the garage uh, parking. Cool. 
above the garage apartment. And it's got its own bathroom as well. Very cool. This can be attic stuff. Oh. No. Door's not one to open, so I'm not gonna force it. All right, let's head on back down and check out the rest of this house. All right, so this place is, has four cars, garage, with the upstairs apartment, beautiful pool, amazing views. Gotta love that views. And just, just oak trees everywhere you look. You have beautiful oak trees all around this place. We are almost done because I definitely want to show you off the master bedroom. Oh, this is such a cool living space and entertainment space at that. Back in the good old air conditioning. Let's check out that. Ooh, we got an office over here we haven't checked out either. So you can tell the owner was using that upstairs apartment as her office, and this is the other office. with a really nice tray ceiling. Hi, kitty cat. All right. Let's see if I say hi to the kitty cat real quick. Hey. Yeah. Sorry, can't pass up a kitty cat without saying hello to him. But lots and lots of views from this bathroom. All right, check out this tub with the views. Really, really super cool. And do have a nice walk-in shower with a rain shower. We do have two vanities. One's gonna be a taller, one's gonna be a little shorter. Water closet. And then your check yourself section before you go out into the general public. Can't go wrong with that. And then a closet where it goes all the way up, giving you plenty of uh, extra source space. Don't want to spend too much time in here because it's their personal stuff. All right. And then we got two entrances to the entrances to the bathroom. What a beautiful owner suite and speakers in this house as well. I didn't point those out, but yeah, they got speakers. And I believe the upstairs room is pre-wired, has also surround sound in it. it awesome. And more surround sound speakers on this wall behind us but very neat. Lots of speakers in this house. This house is made for entertaining. All right, that's gonna wrap tour of this beautiful home built by Kitchen Custom Home in 2006. Remember, it is 4,300 square feet, four bedroom, three bath, gorgeous pool, amazing views, and currently the asking price is one million four hundred and ninety five thousand now if you're interested in this property feel free to reach out to me i can represent the buyers because the seller already has their own realtor so if you're out there looking checking this out on youtube 
feel free to reach out to me. My contact information will be on the final screen and it costs you nothing to use a realtor to purchase a house. So go ahead and do that. Now, if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and keep sharing with your friends. All right, take care now. Bye.